Okay, assigning oxidation numbers. All elements have an oxidation number of zero. Copper's an element, so the oxidation number must be zero. Potassium's an element, oxidation number of zero. O3, it's ozone, but it's still an element, and so that's zero as well. The sum of oxidation numbers equals the charge on the particle. Sulfuric acid has no charge, so the sum is zero. The sulfate ion has a minus two charge, so the sum of the oxidation numbers is minus two. Phosphate, minus three charge, so the sum of the oxidation numbers, add them up together, is minus three. And this relies on the fact that you know ammonium is NH4 plus one, and so plus one is the oxidation number. Really should be one plus for the charge. Oxidation number of hydrogen and HCl, hydrogen's always plus one in a compound. So in CH4, hydrogen is always plus one in a compound. Now since it has to add up to zero and hydrogen's plus one, oxygen must be minus two. Oxygen's always minus two in a compound. So carbon must be plus four if oxygen's always minus two in a compound. Don't be fooled. That's an element. Hydrogen is zero. It's an element. Okay, a little change to the rules. If hydrogen is bonded to a metal, hydrogen's minus one. So hydrogen bonded to a metal has an oxidation number of minus one. So in this case, the aluminium must be plus three. The sum is zero. Hydrogen bonded to a metal is minus one. Hydrogen bonded to a metal is minus one. Oxygen's minus two. Calcium's actually in group two. And so if they sum to zero, that seems to work. Lithium's in group one. Group one metals have an oxidation number of plus one, which if they've all got to equal zero, means that nitrogen must have an oxidation number of minus three. Lead sulfate, a little trickier. Sulfate's two minus, which means the oxidation number must be plus four for the lead. The charge on the iron is the sum of the oxidation numbers. Oxygen's minus two in a compound. Oxygen is minus two in a compound. Don't be fooled, it's an element. So oxygen is zero in this case. Now, there is an exception for oxygen. Oxygen is always minus two in a compound, except for this one, where it's minus one. Hydrogen peroxide or hair bleach, oxygen is minus one. Another rule is fluorine in a compound is always minus one. So that means chlorine must be plus one. Fluorine is always minus one in a compound. Fluorine is always minus one in a compound. No tricks here. Fluorine in a compound is always minus one. Minus one? No. It's an element now. All elements are zero. Fluorine on a compound is always minus one? That's true. Some of the oxidation numbers equals the charge on the particle? That's true. No, that's false. Hydrogen is minus one with a metal. Yeah, that's the exception, the peroxide. Oxygen is minus one and not minus two there. That's completely wrong. All elements have an oxidation number of zero. That's true. Group one's plus one, group two's plus two, group three's plus three in a compound. Ooh, that looks tricky, but the answer is C. Oxygen's minus two in a compound, so we've got to equal zero, so chromium must be plus three. Hydrogen with a metal has an oxidation number of minus one, so cobalt hydride. Sulfur goes from plus four to plus six. Yes, it does change. Methane is the answer. Hydrogen's plus one. That's wrong. So's that. And that's wrong. None of the above. Phew, you now are an expert on oxidation numbers.